Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my updated wash day routine. This routine will save you so much time and also save your hair. Literally, when I was doing this wash day routine, guys, I had my sister in the house and she was literally like, wow, I cannot believe how quick you've been able to get through this and also how much hair. Um, you had at the end of it all she was literally shocked and literally that's how I've been washing my hair recently because guys I literally don't have as much time as I used to to spend on my hair so if you're one of those people that used to spend ages wash, washing your hair and end up with a lot of shedding you definitely want to watch this video now I'm starting here on pretty dry hair just like you can see it is very dry it's costy it's an old twist out um, recently I've been suffering a lot with dry hair guys I did mention it in perhaps one of my video in the past where I was telling you guys I don't know what it is whether it's the summer the hot weather that is drying my hair out but I just feel like I have to put a lot more effort in um, these days to keep my hair moisturized um, so essentially I'm starting here with a pre pull treatment now all of the treatments that I'm going to use in today's video you will see in subsequent videos the reason why that is is because I couldn't add every the process of making every single one of them in today's video because as you would imagine it would be really really long um, so I would break them down into like separate videos so stay tuned on the channel um, to see how I made each one of these and then you can also see how it worked on my hair essentially so a pre treatment is super super important when it comes to retaining moisture just like I said I suffer a lot with moisture guys and um, yeah it's super important that I introduce I keep this process in my wash day to be honest it's always been there and I would encourage you to also pre your hair whenever you're, you're washing because that's what will help you minimize breakage and also retain moisture so I'm just working this through the entirety of my hair including my ends just making sure that every bit of my hair is covered and just like you can see here we have reverted already that dry crusty looking hair that we started off with so you can see here it is already looking super super moisturized and yeah looking really good so I'm gonna twist this and then move on to the next section and repeat until it's done. Now I have been doing my wash day routine like this recently just because I feel like, guys, when I tell you, I literally don't have as much time like I used to. I've got two kids. I just recently launched uh, launch my business. Um, thank you so much for those of you who made your orders. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, and I'm also working. I'm a wife and I've got other endeavors as well. So nobody's got time to be spending doing hair um, for the whole day like we used to. So that's why doing my hair this way works a lot better. Now also notice I parted my hair in four sections guys. This is because again we're trying to save time here. I usually used to work in much smaller sections but obviously that takes a bit of time to get through. Um, but when it's like four sections it's more manageable for me and it's I mean it's not it's not more manageable is it, it saves me time but then later on just like you will later on see in the video I will um, break this down a bit more so just keep on watching okay guys so at this point we're done applying the pre pull treatment and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put a plastic bag on my hair and just allow it to sit for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes and that should be enough obviously if you've got more time please please go ahead and leave it for longer it could be like two to three hours and then we're just gonna go ahead and wash this off now if you have like a, a what's that called like a heat oh, I forgot the name let me know the, the in the comment section down below guys if you know what I'm, what I'm trying to say um, is that hood dryer so if you've if you've got it that will be even better because you can literally just sit under it for like 10-15 minutes and then you're literally done so at this point I'm ready to wash my hair and I'm just in love with the moisture already you know like I said guys we went from that crusty looking dry hair 
to this super moisturized looking hair already and I'm super super excited so I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair um, and essentially move on to the next step of my wash day routine so I just thought I'll show you guys what my hair looks like I just love my hair recently and I've been getting a lot of comments about my hair being thicker and healthier looking um, so so thank you so much for the compliment I really really appreciate it um, so yeah anyways I'm now going to just go ahead and shampoo my hair out and I'm just removing some of the products that I have on my hair and then I'm going to go ahead and shampoo so for the shampoo what I will be using will be short bought uh, this one is Elvive I think it's by L'Oreal Paris I've always always used this shampoo guys it's my go-to shampoo super affordable but it's also super amazing on my hair it gives my hair so much volume and it also doesn't dry out as much shampooing generally will dry your hair out um, but you also want to make sure that you use a shampoo that agrees with your hair so if you use something that is drying it's better you try something else and see whether it works um, I've tried Tresemme before and I found it super super drying it was dangling my hair a lot after shampooing so I've just been sticking to this one because I know it works so after shampooing guys I'm just rinsing it off just so you can see here I'm only going to shampoo once just because the pre treatment that I use um, essentially contain ambunu which it just helps to cleanse your scalp anyway so i didn't really have to shampoo twice but feel free to shampoo twice guys if you feel the need to life goes up and it goes down i know my mom taught me that i figured why we fool around okay guys so this is my hair after shampooing um so it is looking super super moisturized really nice and clean so i'm just gonna shake up the excess water off essentially and then i'm going to go ahead and put it in like um four uh twists and then i can go ahead and deep condition but i just wanted to show you up close so you can see how moisturized that's looking you can you can tell it is definitely softer than what we had um, initially that's why pre-pooing and pre-pooing with the right stuff is really really important um, so my scalp also was nice and clean yeah everything was just really 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 good so I was really happy with this at this point just like I said I'm going to put it in four twist and then I'm going to move on to the next step of my wash the routine which is conditioning um, so if you're not into like DIYs and you're watching this video you can definitely um, follow the same steps but maybe just use like short bulk stuff but I would definitely recommend trying some of these um, things that I'm using just like I said I'm sorry guys I couldn't put it in today's video but you will see them in subsequent videos so now my hair is damp but you can still tell it is nice and soft but we're still gonna go ahead and deep condition it I usually deep condition every time that i wash my hair because i feel like it's such a good opportunity to do that now to apply my deep conditioner guys i'm going to part my hair into smaller sections now um, compared to what i had um, initially this is because i am not going to um when i go off i mean when, when i go on to wash the deep conditioner off my hair i'm not going to undo my twist so i'm going to keep the same twist in and essentially just wash it off and that will help me with the next process which will be um seeing in the moisture detangling and all of that stuff and if my hair is already in smaller sections it just makes the process a lot quicker and easier for me as well because all I just have to do is basically just undo the sections that I was that I already have and then work with that so again I will show you guys how I made this dip conditioner so stay tuned on the channel but I really really loved it because again it was super moisturizing just like you can see here it's really defining my curls and I just love it so essentially I'm just going to work this through the entirety of my hair so from my roots all the way to the end and just making sure that every bit of my hair is covered now the thing about this dip conditioner is that because I made it um, you know in the morning just before my wash day uh, started and then I allowed it to sit around while I was doing other stuff it became a little bit more of a 
liquid if that kind of makes sense so it became a little bit messier to apply it that's how you can see it's sort of dripping all over my face and all of that but it wasn't this consistency um, initially it's just because it sat around for a little bit um, so when I show you guys what this conditioner is made of you will definitely see why you need to use it straight away um, so but anyways this is what my hair is looking like after applying it and then I'm just going to again just twist that part move on to the next and repeat until the rest of my hair is completely done It feels like I'm lying every time Someone asks how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something Now look at that definition in my curls Like this is just insane, it's crazy um, And even after you rinse this guys You still have the same level of definition Your hair still stays moisturized for quite a good amount of time and it's just amazing now if you made it to this point of the video and you still haven't given me a thumbs up guys please please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already so after i left my conditioner on my hair for about an hour i'm now ready to just go ahead and wash it off just like i said i'm not going to undo my twist just like i did when i um shampooed my hair and it's just to make the process a lot easier for myself so i'm just going to go ahead and rinse it off now let me know guys am i the only one that squeezes my hair like this to get most of the water out of it um <laughs> whenever i'm washing let me know in the comment section down below if you are one to do that as well so this is what my hair looked like after um i've installed the conditioner you can see how my curls are still looking pretty pretty good i think that deep conditioner definitely did a good job in fact from the people treatment all the way to this stage definitely they've done what they were meant to do and i just love how moisturized my hair feels and also how moisturized it looks so you can tell i was really really excited now on to the final part of the video so this is the part where we kind of you know moisturize i sort of seal the moisture in the hair and then style um so it's always the part that sometimes i just leave for the next day or maybe like for the next few days um because I always feel like if my hair is already washed and conditioned the rest I can do later but don't be like me guys try and finish off on the same day because it helps a lot with moisture so I'm using one of my DIYs um, leave-in conditioner again like I said I will show you how to make this let me know in the comment section down below if you can guess from the texture of this what this is made of okay guys um, so yeah, I will be using that basically um, to seal the moisture in my hair. So I'm applying it to my roots um, It doesn't really get your hair dirty To be honest, um, so I'm going to apply it to my roots uh, because it does help to stimulate hair growth as well And I'm also going to apply it to the rest of my hair Just making sure that every bit of my hair is covered and then I'll show you guys how moisturized my hair looks just after applying this can you see that can you see how it looks super super moisturized the curls are again popping and i imagine if i applied more than this i will have a bit more definition but anyways um so this is what i'm working with now at this point guys you need like an oil or a butter to help you seal the moisture in your hair and for this i'm using one of my moisturizing butters this is available on my website um, I will link the description um, link the website in the description box below so feel free to check it out this butter is the bomb literally it just melts in your hands and on your hair it really really moisturizes it contains shea butter which is super super amazing when it comes to moisture it also contains aloe vera it is just super super good so do check the, the description box for my website now i must also say along the line of talking about my website it's been brought to my attention um that there was a problem with paypal and um, paypal payments so some of you guys trying to pay using paypal it wasn't working 
but now that has been resolved so if you were one of those and maybe you didn't purchase because you couldn't make the payment now everything is fine so you can head to the website and continue your purchase basically so after applying that guys I'm now ready to just detangle this is the only point in which I detangle my hair throughout before what I used to do I used to detangle before applying the pre treatment and then detangle when I had the dip conditioner treatment on and then detangle again at the end and I just feel like that is just it creates too much tension on the scalp and essentially you are likely to lose more hair doing it that way so I find that detangling towards the end just makes the process so much easier and quicker as well because your hair is already soft your tangles are already a bit loose from the deep conditioning and all of that goodness so it's much easier and quicker as well to detangle your hair so this is why you save so much time doing your hair this way so essentially after i detangle guys i just twist it and this is what it looks like can you see how juicy that twist is looking honestly i was just like i'm amazed by it it was literally looking so 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 good really moisturized really soft really shiny and yeah that's why i really love this butter make sure you get your hands on it so this is pretty much it from me today guys thank you thank you so much for watching the video if you made it to the end honestly i'm so grateful because i know the video is super super long but i had no other way of making it shorter than this so thank you so much if you stuck around till the end of the video don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already guys share this video with somebody you know who could benefit from this and i'll catch you in my next one thank you so much for watching guys until next time bye